Hello everyone, it's Minidio again. Welcome to part 19 of my Ryan Spirits 2 gameplay. This time, okay, I guess the special stage is still open, so I think I'm, I think I'm gonna get some bike to to keep completing everything of that special stage to get tons and tons and tons of money. Hmm. I was about to pick the Yoshimura, but I guess it's gonna be a too fast bike. Because well, it's uh, well, all Yoshimura bikes in this game are at least faster than the than the stock counterparts. So I mean, picking them is like you know getting a really easy win. So I'm gonna go for for this. And what can I do here? Special spring five. Well, this is for single cylinder off. Scooters. Okay, this is for motards. This is also for motards because it's open. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, the championship title first. Yeah. Yeah, because last time it was the other way around. I did first the the the, the race and then the championship. So yeah, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna go first. And I think I'm gonna qualify because if I remember well, this this championship is done with the dirt courses and Battle Line 16 does have a dirt course and. When it's dust, it's fucking impossible to see anything. I mean, you're only seeing dust and dust and dust and well, pretty much you can you can follow the racing line because well, they are they are leaving a trail of dust, so it's kind of easy to follow the racing line, but it's a still it's impossible to pass. So yeah, I'm gonna qualify. See you in a couple of minutes. Back from qualifying and well, the summary would be that I crashed like. Three or four times. So I mean, without all those crashes, I think I should be able to finish at least second. The problem is that I didn't improve my grid position. I mean, qualifying can last here up for up to 25 minutes, but it's still well, it's still gonna suck because I'm I finished last and well, and this is all I'm going to see for quite some part of the course. There's a trail of the trail of dust and some shadows. The problem is that I'm not seeing the leaning angles. So it's like... Okay, no, that sucked. I mean, I should, uh, since it's a four race championship, I should finish at least fourth. So yeah, I think I need to at least finish behind these two guys. But I mean, this is supermoto. I mean, the, it's not like it's, this is a clean sport. Okay, I'm gonna crash and race it into the racing line. Oh, a bit. It's a Suzuki and, uh, and the XT 66, six, uh, well, 66, 660 by Yamaha. It's a, it's just a heavy bike they make for both enduro and supermoto. Well, at least I'm improving a bit, you know, I haven't crashed as many times as the other, as the other time as during qualifying. And also some of my lines are improving. When I mean improving, I mean not sucking as much. I mean, this is an extremely tricky course. Well, I, well you know how many problems I had well, when doing the, the asphalt supermotor race on, on this course. I mean, and with dirt it's a bit worse because well, passing is becomes a lot tougher. Also, it's my this is my worst order because if we if we really is downhill, I can overtake the guys on, on this first part and then concentrate just on trying to stay ahead because well, passing is quite hard. But yeah, I think I'm gonna improve my time by a lot. 
but I'm still gonna finish by I'm, I'm gonna finish fourth and I'm far far away from third. Am I going to improve? Yep. By quite a lot, by like six seconds and a half. Yeah, I mean I just focused on doing my race after the after the falls. After the fall, we shake it up. Uh, what was that song? Blow me away by Breaking Benjamin. Okay, stay in chimneys. This should be a bit better because I know how to do how to race here. Well, I think I do. I mean, if I don't if I don't crash, if I keep my bikes my bike on two wheels and not on none. Okay. Going fucking white is not my is not my thing to be honest. Okay, I've lost okay so much dust. And I'm just trying to follow the dust. If I'm into the dust I know that I'm quite close to the racing line, so whatever. Okay, pass on the outside, trying to risk my trying to risk quite a lot to be honest. Whoa, I mean, every time I'm behind them, I'm, la I'm suffering because I don't know where they are. So I'm kind of guessing. Okay, this turn was fucking amazing and I'm leaving. Reaching 100 miles an hour with, with this ride. So yeah, oh, it's a one lap race. Well, at least uh, it was good that I was so fucking nervous and so, so concentrated on winning. I think this was kind of slow, I guess. Okay, came to the last turn. Fucking weird line, but I'm, I'm gonna win. And I hope the Yoshimura gets overtaken or something. That would help me with the title. Yeah, it has been overtaken, so I guess I'm close to the lead right now. Close, at least closer than I should have been. I, sh I was expecting to be. Okay, just two points behind. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm trying to not get too overexcited. Okay, this is. Mm. I haven't visited this track yet. I well, I kind of remember it from you know past gameplays on this of this game, but I do not know. Well, I'm not sure if it's the reverse one or the normal one. So I'm gonna qualify first. See you in a minute and a half or so. Okay, I was quite good. I mean, I fell I fell down once. But it was quite good, and for me it was more of a cycling lap. I mean, I don't think I need the the, the grid position. But anyway, I'm not, and it's it's not like I'm gonna give it away. <laughs> okay, it's a three lap race this time. It's kind of awkward because this is not much much shorter than the than the well the the strange chimney sir. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. That was definitely cool. Okay, hard and brakes. I was kind of expecting somebody to pass me. I'm gonna try to, to use the white line here. Okay, no, not trying. I mean, those are textures, I don't think there's any bump there. My guess was on the next right hander. Here, because I was trying to use my old line. Old, old racing line through here, but I guess it's better to keep it tight, like I did here. Well, I'm leaving. This is possibly the, the slowest track in the game. It's extremely, extremely tight, but it doesn't make it boring. I mean, it, it's, it is not boring. It is not boring at all. Okay, that was fucking dumb. You know what dumb is? Because that was dumb. I guess I'm gonna get past. 
least once, maybe twice, twice. Wait, well, that was pretty damn does it. Okay, let's do a dive bomb. I blew it too many. Oh, that was some counter. Okay, let, let's do, let's try another dive bomb. This time it's a, it's a successful one. Well, if you play the, the time trial mode and, and, and win everything on expert, I've read that you that you unlock all the tracks, so that means that I guess you can get uh, super modal races if you have them on your garage at least. Well, well at, at least I'm leaving again. I, got, I guess I was a bit too fast there. I've not been really aggressive on this lap. Still, it's a much, much better lap than what, what any of them have done during qualifying. Okay, I was lo almost looking at the wall and I was like, okay, this is way too, sh this is way too close. Does this bike have some special value? Well, it's the digital plus anal analogical one. I'm gonna try to at least write some. Wow, this is fucking scary. I mean, I, I, I don't have my reference, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit an invisible wall. I don't even, even know what the fuck my tail is doing, so. Oh, so, yeah, I'm much better like this. My right leg is itching a lot right now. And I'm using one of my toenails to, to scratch it while racing. Okay. Whoa, that was, that was so cool, but fucking scary. Okay, again, way too close to the to the wall where I win. Yeah. I guess it's another half million to me. And the points lead, I guess. Because well, we are gonna be the, Yo the Yoshimura and I w are going to be tight. Yeah, I guess it, I have the lead. I guess, kinda. So it's okay. It's lightning one. I guess it's gonna be like a fucking ton of laps. Okay, it's only three. Hmm? This could be interesting. Passing early is gonna be key. I'm gonna try to, to pass it early. If they let me. So yeah, and I parked my bag because I guess it was fucking good. Okay, okay gotta, gotta risk my chance, gotta take my chances. Because I have to come back from almost 5 seconds in a fucking short time. Yeah, between the bags, using a bit of the slip streaming. Oh, sorry, of the draft. Okay, uh, three sec just, just three seconds. And I'm gonna blow past this guy on the edge again. Okay, so it's gonna be a last lap, uh, last lap thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a last lap thing, so it's gonna be quite exciting, I guess. Or maybe not, I don't know. I don't want to record this all over again just because I lost the championship. So I'm beating and banging for, for first and I got the, the better racing line. I'm gonna celebrate this so much, this so much, this so much, yeah! I have to come back! And I did it in quite a dirty way. I almost I made contact with almost everybody. 
Hmm. It was a shame. Uh, well, it was a shame that the DM didn't win. That would have helped me a bit. But well, I ran away with the with the win. Twenty million more guys. So well, I do not have any more races to enter. Okay, yeah, I have the strange chains. Six laps. Wow, it's gonna be long. It's gonna be like ten minutes. Yeah, pretty much like ten minutes. And I also, uh, I also will do the scooter race, so I only have the, the single cylinder ones to do. It's a race and a championship. I'll, bro, I'll bring my, my T-Max, yeah, because I'm cool like that. Okay, I'm trying to see what the fuck is ahead of me. I guess the opponents are, are pretty much the same as the, as the other ones on the on the on the one lap race. I do not know where I'm going. I'm just following the dust. I got up for the dust. I'm into the time again. Back to first. Uh, well, back to first. No, I'm first for the first time in this race. I need like 35 seconds to do it. Okay, I have to leave once, but well, doing that turn at 93 miles an hour is pretty insane. I like how these super motorbikes turn a lot better when you are accelerating, especially if it's full throttle. If it's full throttle, the bike goes so fucking fast through the turn, I mean, my turns really tight. Let me try to do this full throttle. Really? 112 miles an hour? I cannot do I cannot do that with a sport bike. Why does this have so much grip? I can almost be faster than the GX than my at least than the GXR 750, the, the classic bike I have. One of the few classic bikes I have. I mean, 144 from a standing start is pretty impressive. Okay, I'll try to talk a bit about Supermoto throughout this lap, because, well, I guess I'm fucking fast, so... I don't think I'm gonna need to concentrate much. And I'm not gonna have... And I'm not gonna... Have much to talk about. So, well, I don't know, what, what about Supermoto? Well, it's a, it's a really cool event. I mean, the, the event, I guess, it started with the ABC Superbikers. A season finale kind of thing for motorbike for motorbike riders from the USA. The riders who came from Grand Prix and Superbikes like I think one of the better ones was Freddie Spencer, I think. Yeah, I think Freddie Spencer was pretty good at this. Uh, I don't know, moto, motocross bikers. You know the I, I don't know the Danny Laporte, I think one. Well, Steve Wise. Steve Wise was one of the winners, and I have it, and I have him on Facebook, which is quite cool, to be honest. I have a fucking legend on my Facebook friends. He's really religious. Well, coming back to this, I'm also flat track racers, and I'm not gonna be, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to to name any any flat track racer from the late 70s and early 80s. That event was quite cool because, well, the bikes were not purposely made, well, they were purposely made, but out of, uh, out of other bikes. Yeah, because, well, they didn't want the, the, the track mixed uh, fast asphalt parts, uh, some flat dirt, uh, uh, turns some dirt to favor the, the dirt track races, and also some ups and downs and bumps and jumps for the motocross riders. So it was quite a quite cool quite a cool event, you know. Pretty much, I guess that the race of championship for car was a bit like that. Was conceived as something a bit like that, I guess. So, I mean, well, that event was quite cool. The bikes were made of, I think it was a flat track frame. Although some people used a motocross frame, motocross suspension, flat track tires, uh, Grand Prix racing brakes. 
you know, for heavy, for a for much much heavier braking. And I th and I do not remember about the engine. I guess they were using low tuned Grand Prix uh, engines. Maybe I, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't know. I do not have the info right here. I'm just telling this out of my mind. So well, I mean that was quite successful. The, the, but the event was dropped when Carlsbad, the Carlsbad Raceway was demolished. The, Car the Carlsbad Raceway, which was the host of the event, was well was demolished. So uh, when the track disappeared, the race disappeared. I think it was pretty much like that. Not 100% sure about 100% sure about that. And here in, in Europe, the event started. A bit more well. I guess they were imitating the the well the, the Americans, but they had a bit more of sense in their in their minds because instead of using a really big fast track, they used a small track, small outdoor tracks. I think they were kart uh, kart racing tracks or maybe just club racing cars, uh, club racing tracks. I'm not sure. And well, they were using motocross, motocross frames with motocross suspension on Grand Prix. Well, but bigger braking. I don't know if it came from Grand Prix racing. And I do not, and I do not know either about the about the engine this time. So I mean, it was well, it was also cool. I mean, it was new and it was you know motocross, motocross versus enduro versus Grand Prix racers from France. I think that was in the late 80s. And there was a point, there was a time, so they decided to host it inside the Paleo Sport of Paris Merci. The, well, that the stadium is prim primarily known for, for the Martial Arts Contest, concert, and also for the Supercross the Paris Merci. Okay, I'm gonna blue this one. Yep, well, no, not really. So, I mean, in the name was the Girondo, so, I mean, and that was also pretty successful, to be honest. But, well, I mean, that, I don't think, well, that, that disappeared, it needed a, lot, a ton more time, I think it was an event since, like, 2004 or 2005. I mean, there were quite a fucking ton of editions of the Girondo. And it also even had, for example, the a Spanish version in Madrid. In the in a exposition center. That race was also cool because well, you could see uh, Tony Elias, Dani Pedrosa well, when they were kids. And um, well, I'm, I'm trying to think uh, more about it. Well, about the the professional racing, I do not know how professional racing, prof professional supermoto racing started in Europe. I do know that after a couple of years with the European Championship, it became the World Championship. Although there, there were never many races outside outside Europe. Although I I know there's a race on YouTube in Broadford, Australia. B R O A V Ford. That's the that's the name of the place. And, and that was well that was well the Supermoto World Championship was quite decent. It included bikes of more than 500 cc. Well. It was pretty much an open class. I mean, bikes went as crazy as, as like six, six hundred cc. All mainly single cylinder bikes, if I'm not mistaken. And well, and, I mean, the the problem is that the the championship stopped having prestige pretty much overnight. Yeah, it was like you know the the track. The championship is famous, the championship is famous, the championship is famous, we have crowd, we have crowd, okay, we, we no longer have prestige or crowd. Out of, for me it was out of fucking nowhere, maybe there was some reason, and then, uh, uh, but uh, I don't know, I mean, I, I, can, I cannot remember anything like that. And well, it was, well, it was quite, quite disappointing because, well, the, the championship was cool. It was a bit like mo uh, motocross, you know. Two races per day, both scored points, a podium, a podium at the end of the day for each class. Right now the World Championship is a fucking joke. It's pretty much an Italian, an Italian Championship. 
and well, and about the and about professional supermoto racing in the USA. Well, I know it was quite heavily promoted by the ESPN, at least using the X Games. They used the organizers, which I guess they, they had a link with GS, ESPN. They used the X Games to promote supermoto, to promote supermoto. And uh, from 2004 to like 2009 or 2010, there were there were super motor races in, uh, at, the, at the X Games. They were using well, kind of super motor racers, and also a bit of celebrity racers like Jamie McGrath, Chad Reed. Even once there was Nicky Hayden to add, he got injured uh, and badly injured to be honest during qualifying or during practice, I think it was. Well, I guess he didn't like su the Supercross part much, so... And well, um, after a few years they had problems with the organizers. The whole organizing team of the AMA Supermoto City as well started to, to, fuck the, to fuck the championship. And well, and there was a moment where the whole thing was dropped. X Games Supermoto disappeared, and also it disappeared, AMA, Super AMA Supermoto disappeared, the, the main championship. So I mean that, that, that was it for Supermoto. Well, right now there's some kind of revival. Again, I haven't won any right, so that was fucking shit. There hasn't been any kind of revival as of now. Well, sorry, there's, there has been one revival as of now. Uh, the Stadium Super Track Series, a series hosted and, and run by Robbie Gordon. Is right now, you know, trying to make their way through to have a professional, a professional supermoto championship, and I hope, and I hope they can do it by 2014. I mean, it would be cool that they have at least a stadium series, so people can go and see them. Okay, not gonna win this one because I don't have the bike they want me to have. I need the the Honda Motor Show con the Honda Motor Show concept model. And I don't have it. I guess I'm gonna try to. I was going to say cheat my way through, but it's gonna be more like upgrading this bike because well, right now I have like 50 million credits, which is a fucking ton. I mean, I know I can be faster than pretty much anybody on a on a, on a scooter bike, on a maxi scooter bike. I mean, I was able to win the the Skywaves with a T Max. And the team max was like three seconds a lap slower, like this. So I guess that with an upgraded bike, I think I should be able to at least keep. Holy crap, 150. That's just way too much. I'm gonna qualify. See you in a couple of minutes. I do not know how it's gonna be. I mean, I do not know it. I know I have quite the potential, but the problem is that my bike is a lot, is gonna be a ton different than his. Or of hers, because well, th th those bikes are gonna have some power. Those motor show concept models by Honda. I mean, okay, I have the start. I do have the start. Hmm. If I have the start, I think I can, I can block them all the way through. Or not? Maybe not. Yeah, I mean, I only have the jump. His start was much better than mine. Okay, I have put up a bit of a lead, but I guess they're gonna blast through. Okay, I'm blocking him. Okay, that was much. Oh okay, yeah, was that was much better than me, much faster. This is gonna be a fucking tense race, especially with the. With the with the almost no sound thing, uh, thanks to the maxi scooters. Because I mean, there's there are a couple of spots that really favor him, but there's also spots for me. Okay, and I can also crash, which is which is gonna have suck balls to be honest, because then he's gonna pull away and I'm not gonna be able to block him. God damn it! I need to pull a medical here. Fuck, medical or some, or some, or some dirty move. Okay, that was close to the wall. That was not balls to the wall. That that was tires to the wall.
Well, I'm doing some leading, which is nice. Even after a crash, I had to pull some dirt in an Uber so on him, but well, that was because I I wanted to I wanted to I won the win. Okay, this was horrible. Are they gonna get me? Yes, they are. Holy crap, their bikes are so much faster than mine. Holy crap! Twice! And this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck, this is gonna suck. Oh god, they are pulling away. What am I going to do now? What the fuck am I going to do now? Because with even even with extremely heavy, heavy braking, even if half my even if I have my braking points right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to really get closer and closer to them. Because every time they they hit the accelerator. I got by one. And well, now I have to pull another dirty number on the team. Okay, no, it, that was fucking green. Well, not the fastest way out of the turn. And he's right, 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 right behind me. Is this gonna be too short for him to pass? Yes, it is. Well, at least I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Wow! He pretty much passed me over the finish line. I don't know who who led that lap. I'm not sure. I hope I, I hope I can lead the, all the all the other laps. I'm gonna leave the racing line clear for him, okay? Anyways, he passed me on the inside. Okay, this is a power versus handling and braking fight. And I'm not really, and I've never been the kind of guy who likes these battles. Although I like blocking. I can have fun while blocking. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. And right now I'm trying to motivate myself because it is going to be quite fucking close. I mean, I'm, there's no, I don't think there's a way for me to, for me to pull away. Well, maybe if I can, if I get this turn right, but then he got he gets a clean run, and then he gets closer and closer and closer. I mean, well, he has a terrible turn. I have a terrible section, which is uh, the start finish area, because it fa it is fast, and there is also the the S with the problem with the S. Okay, the right now there's not gonna be a problem. Full throttle all the way through. Ah, 149. That means I'm going well. Okay. Oh god, that was so close. Oh wait, the way right now I'm I'm, I'm thinking that this bike my my uh, must have the engine from the Suzuki SV650. Yeah, because, I mean, it's the same capacity and the, and it would make sense for them to have the same engine. Okay, right now I'm pulling a bit away, not much, because every time he has to accelerate, he's, he's, just, he's getting time from me. But at least I'm being able to pull away, which is... One of the coolest sensations of the world. 
come on, another fall here? At least I'm not, I'm, I'm not in second. Yeah, I'm not second. That's what counts. I mean, if I, even if I fall like 12 times, I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna be happy as long as I, as I win. Not gonna be tremendous, tremendously happy, but gonna be happy. Well, this is halfway through, pretty much. Well, no, almost two thirds through. When I finish, when I finish this lap, it's gonna be two thirds through. Just right there. Bad line, bad line, bad line. Okay, this is a, this was a really good line. And 143. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much sweating, and it's not only because of the heat. It's because of the tension. Because I I know I need pretty much my A game to win this thing. But I didn't have as much advantage as, as during my first lap. Let's see how how we finish the, this turn. Well, this backstage. He he came, he was as much as like a second a second off from me. But my braking and my turning are better. I mean, it's that what what is is keeping him away from me. My turning and my braking. More my braking than my turning because well, my turning has made me fall like three times. Okay, that was a kind of kind of a pass to the. This might be my fastest lap if I don't blow blow it now. Yeah, because I'm pulling. I'm, right now I'm pulling away, I'm pulling away nicely. There's a lot of pressure with this. Because I know I'm not gonna be able to well, to win unless I I completely I completely dominate and keep it and keep it clean. Okay, that was pretty much a low side. I mean, the extra power makes the bike a little bit harder to handle, but well, there's also less weight, so one thing for the other. 148.699, that was the, the fastest lap of the race so far. And right now I do have a comfortable lead, now I have it. Also, just look, even with so many faults, just look at how far is the first Bergman, the first Skywave 650. He's, la he's 34 seconds away. 34. On just 5 laps. I mean, I guess that his bike is not upgraded. But just think about how hard I am, I am driving. Sorry, driving. Okay, 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 close to the wall, but whatever, I'm not gonna care because this is the last lap and I'm gonna win. Oh, yeah, I almost crashed there. I'm gonna win and I'm gonna get big money. And I'll end this segment right away because, well, I'll try to do the single cylinder and the endurance race. Unsafe, unsafe. He has pretty much give up, gave up. He gave up on the on on the on the lap before this one. I am I going to improve the, my lap time? Yep. Forty-seven ninety-six. With a goddamn maxi scooter, I I know it was I upgraded it a lot, but still, uh, still. Mm. 3 million credits. I know I upgraded the bike, so it's gonna be like 2 million and a half, or, or, or even less than that. But, anyways, I'm happy. So, I'm gonna end this segment right 
now pretty much. So, see you next time. Bye-bye.